Well, there are several hurdles. One is money. I mean, these centres, even one-room centres, but we've got you know state-of-the-art big centres in, in two, two academic places. So cost is just big. So getting that amount of money out of the Treasury is not trivial, which so we've been very successful. But um, as you say, the, the, uh, the other hurdle is the technology. Up until very recently, the, the technology is changing and we've got spot scanning technology, which is very different from passive scattering technology. The old passive scattering, which is the majority of the patients who have been treated in the world with that technology, has a higher neutron dose. It hasn't had state-of-the-art imaging online. So there are real worries and holes about some of what has happened. The NHS is going to have spot scanning. It'll have on -beam, online cone beams uh, imaging. So it will at last actually be on a par with the sort of accuracy that we'd expect with photon uh, LINAC radiotherapy. So I think that's a much better means of testing the hypothesis for these uncertain indications. And also, it's a more certain way of um, delivering and getting the gains that we want for the certain indications. So I think it's a, the, the technology is growing up now, and I think that's what, so coming into the market at the time we are is a good time.